Good morning. Welcome to another edition of Take 5. It is Thursday, September 8, 2011, and we are in Mark chapter 11, verse 12. On the following day, when they came from Bethany, he was hungry, and seeing in the distance a fig tree and leaf, he went to see if he could find anything on it. When he came to it, he found nothing but leaves, for it was not the season for figs. And he said to it, May no one ever eat fruit from you again. And his disciples heard it. Alright. That's all I'm going to read today. And I'm going to be honest. I'm not really sure I grasp this completely, what the point is here. But here's what's going on. Jesus is hungry. He sees a tree. He could tell from the leaves it's a fig tree. And if you know anything about fig trees, when the leaves are there, the fruit should be there. The leaves and fruit usually grow together. And figs are good. Have you ever had fresh figs? Very tasty. So, and, and back then, uh, a lot of trees just kind of grew out in public. I mean, nowadays, most folks have groves, and you really can't go uh, taking fruit from them. Although, I do remember times with my dad, we would uh, go steal oranges and things. Anyway, we weren't supposed to, but um, uh, but back then you could do that. They had trees that were public trees, and uh, anybody could go up and uh, pick figs off a fig tree. Well, Jesus is wanting to pick figs off this tree. He sees a tree. It's got the leaves. He said, that's a fig tree. There's supposed to be figs there. He goes, and although it looked like a fig tree that should have figs, the leaves were there. There were no figs. There was no fruit. And Jesus curses the tree says, nobody's ever going to eat fruit from you again. So what's the point? All right, I'm just going to take a stab at it. I think the point here is, if, you're, if you've got the outward appearance of being a Christian, there should also be the fruit of being a Christian. And a good place to find that fruit is in Galatians chapter 5. You should have the fruit of the Holy Spirit inside you that shows you are a disciple of Jesus. You should have the fruit of love and joy and peace and patience and kindness and goodness and gentleness and faithfulness and self-control. And you should also have the fruit of, an, of a life that impacts others. And of course, if you have those qualities I just mentioned, you will impact others. But there should be something going on in your life to give evidence that you're a Christian. That's the fruit. And there should also be fruits of repentance, a cha you know, that you're changing and, and moving more toward God all the time. Don't let God look at you and just see leaves without fruit. There needs to be fruit. John the Baptist talked about fruit. Jesus talks about fruit. Paul talks about fruit. There's got to be fruit. And fruit, again, is something. Okay? <laughs> you got to do something. Be something. That's what it's talking about. So look at your own life. Is, is, is there fruit in your life? And if not, get some. Repent. Grow some fruit. Let God produce fruit in you. All right? That's my best stab at it. And as far as the cursing it and never bearing fruit again, I, I'm, I'm not, I don't really get that at all, except just the point that Jesus expects fruit and he just cursed that particular tree. I'm not sure you can carry that all the way over to individual disciples although perhaps you could carry that to the nation of Israel because we do know that uh, basically he did forsake the nation of Israel at least for the last couple thousand years uh, as a result of them not bearing fruit but as far as individual Christians is, is, it, is this passage teaching that uh, Jesus will curse a Christian I don't believe it is but that's that's my opinion Main point is just bear some fruit, all right, so you, you don't have to worry about it. There you go. You, you take that and come back tomorrow for the next edition of Take 5.